Hello, in this video we're going to look at a monopolist that sells its product in two markets, but it must charge the same price in each market. A monopoly can sell its good in two markets, the inverse market demand in market one, and the inverse market demand in market two. The firm's marginal cost is constant at $10, regardless of where this monopolist sells its product. If the firm must charge the same price in each market, that is, it cannot price discriminate, what price will it set? Step one is we're going to solve for the total demand. We're going to add up the demand in market one plus the demand in market two to get the total market demand. To do this, we're going to solve each inverse market demand equation for Q. Here's our inverse market demand equations. We're going to solve each one of those for Q. So the demand in market one is given as follows. And the demand in market two, again, taking the inverse market demand in market two and solving for Q. We get this result. And now we're ready to add up both Q subscript one and Q subscript two. And you'll notice here I dropped the subscript on P because the firm is going to charge the same price in each market. So P subscript 1 will equal P subscript 2. So again, I'm just dropping the subscripts there. And we have our total market demand of 180 minus 2P. 70 plus 110 minus P plus minus P gives us minus 2P. Now we're going to solve for the total inverse market demand. So here's our market demand. We're going to get the inverse market demand by solving it for P price. And now dividing through by 2, we have the following equation. Now we need to solve for marginal revenue. So we get revenue, which is price times quantity. For price, I plug in our inverse market demand, and that's all being multiplied by Q. And now we take the derivative of that result, and that gets us marginal revenue. Now we're going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And at the beginning of this video, we said the marginal cost is constant at $10, regardless of the market the firm sells its product in. So 90 minus Q is marginal revenue. Set that equal to marginal cost. Solving for Q, we get 80. And in terms of the price, 90 minus 0.5Q, we plug 80 into that equation, and the firm will charge a price of $50 in market one and $50 in market two. In terms of the amount of output sold in each market, we can take this $50 and plug it into the demand in market one. So 70 minus 50 is 20 units, and we'll plug this $50 into the demand equation for market two, and we get a quantity of 60 units being sold in the second market. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.